So uh, the task is we want to screenshot several uh, articles in a way that they can be printed on eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Screens are about 100 dots per inch. So the first step is we take whatever tool we have. This happens to be PaintShop Pro. If you're on a Mac, we can find a different tool. And you create a blank workspace that is 850 wide by 1100 tall because that is what's going to look reasonable uh, printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Okay, so then we take and we get our article. The first article is a TechCrunch article and we resize the page so that it is about the same size so that it, to try and get it to what we screen snap is going to land on that other sheet of paper. So we want it to be about that wide. That looks, you know, okay. And then this tool, the screen snap, on a Mac it's like shift command for something like that. <clears throat> on this it happens to be this little camera icon. I'm going to take a screen snap of the whole page. Then what I'm going to do is, the very first thing is, I'm always going to copy the URL out of the page just because we always want to give a correct attribution of where this came from. It gives a lot of information really fast if you wanted to go back and repair one of these. So we put that right at the top, top left hand corner always. Okay, then we go to our screen snap and we always want the title. And we may have to reformat the title. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that with this one for fake. We want to get the title right up near the top. but. Let's say it was a little too wide or it wrapped funny. We might have to take and move this over a little and put like this word down here and line it up and make it look okay. It, it's just make it look okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a, I just noticed that's off a little bit. So I go down a little bit, but you know, just sort of move it around, make it look good. Okay. Now that you have the URL and the title. Now we have to we have to grab as much of this screenshot as we can. We want to get the the author's name and everything, and get this on here and and just screen snap all the way down here a ways. Okay, and I'm going to copy that and then paste it into our blank. Okay, now it'll just go off the bottom. That's fine. Wherever looks good. Let's say it looks pretty good like that. It looks like that'll format okay. We're not looking for perfect. We're looking for the big pretty screenshots nice title, and then a lot of content, okay? So that just went off the bottom here at servers, too expense for that. Okay, so we look over here on our, on this one, on the actual article, and it came down here to servers was too expense for the. Okay, so we scroll that up to the bootstrap company. We're gonna leave that aside for a second because that's gonna be our next screen snap to get the next bit onto this. So then we take this image and we save it as TIFF, T-I-F-F -F format. We can talk about which formats would be okay if your tool doesn't do TIFF. Um, we just want a lossless sharp image. So we do save as and we select uh, TIFF here and um, we name it s four zeros dot TIFF. The next one will be s three zeros and a one dot TIFF. So we save it Okay, and just to see what that looks like, I'm going to print this scale scaled to fit one page. I'm going to print this to take a look at what it looks like. Okay, let me grab that. <clears throat> you can see here, you know, it looks okay. It's, you know, it's, it's all right. It, it looks about what it should look like. And it ends with servers was too expensive for that right here. Okay. So we've saved that as S0000. And now we uh, start a new one that's 850 wide by 1100 tall. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL from the top, just because I, I want to just remember what every one of these is from at the very top of that. And then um, it went down to something that said um, the servers were too expensive for. So I come over here on my page and I say servers was too expensive for the bootstrap company. So we screen snap that and 
and then we take that and paste it down here. And that starts with the line right after um, the end of the last one, which was servers were too expensive for the bootstrapped company. So we paste this down and we save this as the next screenshot number in series. That's a uh, and uh, we call it s0001.tiff, next one in, this, in the series. We save it, and if we want, we can print it out to make sure that it looks you know, good. Say fit to page, always do fit to page, and see how it looks when we print it out. So I'm gonna print it out. And, uh, and there you have it. And then we're gonna go page by page until we're done with that article. And then we're gonna go on to the next article. So just the most important thing is that sequence number that has four digits in it, 0000, 0001, 0002, 003. You just want that to be in sequence so that when we hand this to Kinko's and we tell them print all the images on eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, scaled up, that it all fits and it all looks really nice and it looks like the articles. Make sense? Okay, I wanna talk about um, another thing here which is uh, advertisements and making sure we get rid of them. They're just noisy from the middle of articles, okay? So we start the normal way we do. We do new, we do 850 wide by 1100 tall, okay? Now we have that. And then here's, a, here's an article I'm gonna screen snap. Uh, it's from a, a Digital Trends. So start like I always do, screen snap. Um, we uh, take the URL, we always wanna get the URL at the top like we talked about. Uh, get that right up at the top there. Okay, so that someone can come find it again. We're, we always want to give attribution to where we got it from. And then, uh, here we have a screenshot. We want to snap, we want to get the title, uh, like we always do, so we want to uh, format it. Um, I happen to know that that's not going to quite make it. So, drive reliability and size. Uh, where was that screenshot? Here we go. Size. Numbers. Okay. All right, so that's looking okay. Now, the next step is to screen stop the article. Now, this one has some ads sprinkled in it. Like, you can see this, this ad in the, in, the, in the center of it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna screenshot it, whatever, we're gonna screenshot it. So we copy from the, um, from the artist's name here, this is the screenshot, and we're gonna copy it from the artist's name, and we're gonna go ahead and include all the ads. Like, like it, it'll be okay. That's, it, we're gonna blank them out in a second. So we include all the ads, we paste it on, see how it looks. Okay. So, it's a good start. So we've got the title, we've got the, uh, the name, and we've got the article, but there's some ads sprinkled in here, this one over here. So um, the way I do this, I usually copy some white from somewhere. This is just copying a square of white. You can do this in a couple different ways. And I paste it down over the top of this to get rid of it. Just a, a, a stupid version of a, a, some sort of a large white paintbrush. Okay, so I paste it over the top to get rid of it. Okay, now if there's uh, an advertisement in the middle, let's say this was a little further up. Let's just, uh, uh, let, me, let me fake that up just a little bit. <clears throat> so there's an ad in the middle here. Let's say that that was actually a, a little more, let's just make that more pronounced, just, just for example's sake. I'm doing this slightly wrong, but let's say the ad here, the ad was right in the middle like that. Okay, just pretend that that was a clean s screen snap. All I wanna do, this has nothing to do with Backblaze, the world's first smart turntable. This is just an advertisement. And it takes away from the article for our purposes. So I just paint over this ad. And again, the way I do it, I just take a screen snap of some white area. Sometimes I copy it and then I paste it over the top. You know, good enough. So now it looks, you know, it looks like our article. You just leave it white wherever there was an ad. It just takes away from all the busyness and stuff like that. And then print it out. There's no reason to go overboard. You don't need to re-columnize this stuff. Just get rid of the ads with white out so that they don't appear and that when it all prints, it'll be nothing about back, but about Backblaze. Okay?